In this video we're going to look at a few of the descriptive statistics functions that are readily available in R. Here I've already put some data in. I've created a vector x. You can see that vector here. Um, I've created a vector y and I've, and you can see that vector here. <clears throat> I'm about to request some data from the open intro stat pro project. Uh, so here's the command that they've given us for, for downloading that data. I'll press uh, enter. And now when I look at uh, the list of what I've got, I now have three pieces of, of data. The, the vector x, the vector y, and this uh, uh, data frame cdx. I mean CDC. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so there you can see uh, CDC. It's a it's a long one. Um, let's look at the the head of CDC just real quickly to see what's uh, what's sitting there. You'll notice that we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine columns. Each of those columns can't be looked at as a vector, <clears throat> you'll notice that some of them are definitely categorical variables, like the general health and the gender, of course, are categorical variables. I suppose, suppose that the smoke 100 is uh, either a, ye a yes, no kind of categorical variable. A uh, health plan, probably they have a health plan or not. I'm not sure what this other variable is even talking about, the height and the weight. Um, and uh, this other, the age and so on. Okay, so we've got some, some great variables here to work with. Let's re-examine the, what we've got in our, our working area. Um, here are some of the things that we can do with uh, uh, descriptive statistics. A uh, summary function of a vector is a, is kind of a nice thing to look at. Let's look at that real quickly. I can look at the summary of the x vector. There it will tell me the minimum, the maximum, the first quartile, the third quartile, mean and median. Of course I could do the the summary of, of uh, y or any of the other um, numerical variables. Uh, for example, we might want to look at the summary of the CDC weight column. Now that's how we get a variable. <clears throat> that's how we get a. Uh, that's how we make a, uh, a a column look like a vector in uh, in in R. The from the CDC, I'm I'm pulling out from that data frame uh, the weight, and it tells me that the minimum weight is 68. The maximum. Well, I think they're measuring in uh, in in probably kilograms here. Some I, I don't think they're measuring in. Oh, these are probably the the baby's weights, and they're probably measuring in uh, in some metric uh, form. We'll get some more details on that. The first quartile, the third quartile, the the median and the mean, and so on. Okay, look at some of the other things that we could do there. We could find the mean, the median, uh, the quantile. All of those are kind of useful things to look at. We could look at the the mean of x. Uh, notice that when we got the summary of x, it was uh, uh, the mean was 5.5, and of course the mean here is 5.5 as well. It's just another way of getting that. We could have calculated the the median of x. Of course, that's the same thing that we get in the summary. Uh, we can also find quantiles. Uh, if we did the uh, the quantile of x and we looked at the, the 0 0.25 quantile, that's really the, the first uh, sometimes you forget 
could not find the function quantiles. Oh, <laughs> it's because I spelled it wrong. It's not quantiles, it's quantile x 0 0.25. And of course, that gives us two the same as that first quartile did up up there. I've written down some other examples of quantile calculations uh, here uh, that you can examine. Um, a couple other quick things to to notice is that you can do a box plot of <coughs> of x. When that happens, that produces a, uh, a box plot. Let me hunt around and see if I can just find that real quick uh, and bring it into our space so we can view it. Shoot, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I'm sorry, I don't have a great viewing window for this, so I'll have to scan it back and forth. You'll notice that X had that uh, that one variable, that one value that was much, much higher than the others, that's an outlier. But there's the, the box plot of x. Let's uh, look real quickly at the, let me come back here and you you can do uh, box plots of, of more than one vector. Uh, that'll give you a side-by-side -side plot. So there's the, the two plots side-by-side. Uh, -side. Okay, that's just a brief introduction of how powerful the descriptive statistics are uh, in R.